What's going on, brothers and sisters? My name is Reza. This is KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y. And on today's Wrenching in the Parking Deck, I'm going to show you all how to bypass the tire pressure monitoring system on a Lexus GX 470. Let's go. So right behind me is my 2005 Lexus GX 470. And some of you might be wondering, why in the world would you want to uh, disable your tire pressure monitoring system? And the reason that I'm doing it with my vehicle is because one of my actual sensors on one of my wheels was actually bad and I changed all of my wheels out. So rather than swapping out that sensor and swapping out all the, uh, and swapping, yeah, swapping out that sensor and all the other sensors to my new wheels, I decided to just go ahead and bypass the entire system because I kind of find tire pressure systems to be somewhat annoying. Like I come from the old school where we didn't have tire pressure sensors and you could just kind of tell from the feel in your steering wheel and in your seat if your tire pressure needed to be inflated or not. And you know, you would check your tire pressure on a semi-weekly basis and you would know where your pressure is. Nowadays, people don't really do that. People just kind of just jump in their car and drive and they have these tire pressure sensors that um, they fail a lot. And uh, as it, especially as a vehicle gets older, the tire pressure sensor system doesn't really work anymore. Then you have this annoying light that just goes off on your dash. So mine had the annoying light going off on the dash and I was about to do a long road trip. And I didn't want to see this whole light flashing the whole time when I was going on my trip so I disabled it I'm about to show you guys how I did that to begin this job you're gonna find your way to the passenger side of your vehicle with some trusty hand tools you're gonna to need pretty much a Phillips screwdriver and uh, a little plastic pry tool like this and you're going to remove three panels that makes it a lot easier to do this job one two and three so I'm gonna go ahead and remove those Right here is your tire pressure sensor module. Uh, this thing you can really easily remove it and disconnect it, but removing it and disconnecting it is not going to stop the light in your dash from going crazy when it detects a, a abnormality in your tire pressure. So what you have to do to bypass this thing is ground one of these wires that goes into this uh, module. When you pull this thing, uh, when you pull this shielding off, there's going to be a blue and gray wire right here that connects directly into your um, module. That wire is right here, this blue and gray wire. That's the one that you want to strip back some of the shielding on and then you want to tie another, well you want to connect another piece of cable to it. Uh, if I had a little bit more time I would have probably tried to solder this connection before I grounded it but I was in a rush to get on the road to Florida so I just kind of twisted them together and threw some electrical tape on it and then I grounded the other end of this blue cable that I um, added to the fray and that blue cable I ground it right here on this little uh, bolt that goes to the uh, to the actual body of the vehicle and that is like the perfect place to ground that wire right there and when you do that when you turn on your uh, ignition switch guess what you get no more tire pressure warning and what I've done was disconnected my actual ground uh, to the tire pressure sensor system so you're gonna see the error come up on my dash right here for the uh, tire pressure system tire pressure sensing system when I go ahead and put that back to ground you will see that warning go away now I'm going to go ahead and ground the uh, sensor and when I put it to ground it goes away and I take it off it comes back comes goes so it's a pretty simple and immediate fix when you ground the right wire. If the tire pressure system warning on your dash is flashing, that means there's something actually wrong with the system as far as like, you know, anything, something with the system. I don't know if it's just the uh, actual sensors or something with the actual module. I don't know if that indicates that there is a uh, error with your system. If your light is solid, that indicates that you actually have low tire pressure on one of your actual tires. So that's the difference between the flashing light versus the blinking tire pressure sensor light. But I hate tire pressure sensors, period. So I don't want to see either one of those. So let's go ahead and put this back together. Let me show you something real quick that makes this uh, little job, it's an easy job, but this part right here makes it really annoying. I'm going to go ahead and put everything back together. I got my uh, self-clinging tape. That I'm going to use over here for where I actually connected this wire to the wire on the side of the sensor. The gray and blue one that I was talking about. That actually uh, the one that you need to ground. So I'm going to put that there and then I'm going to reconnect um, this uh, 
screw back into the body of the vehicle to go ahead and ground this wire but this screw has to go through this um, bracket that connects to this actual wire, wire loom or all these wires right here I forget what it's actually called and it's a little bit annoying to get this in here because the screw is located uh, exactly right behind all these wires so you kind of got to like try to move these wires to the side as you screw this in so that's the most difficult part of this job but it's still relatively easy so i'm going to go ahead and put this back together and then put everything back together <laughs> Just like that, you are done. Now all you gotta do is clean up. Tire pressure monitoring is disabled. And uh, there's a lot of different reasons, like I said in the beginning, why you might want to do this. I mean, you might not, uh, you might drive off road a lot. You might switch wheels a lot. The weather wherever you live might fluctuate a lot. The uh, tire pressure monitoring system on your vehicle might just not be working for whatever reason. And you might want to disable it or bypass it because in the end, all you really need is this right here. I don't know why I'm holding this thing. But uh, yeah, we are KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y. Uh, disabling it is pretty darn easy. It's a quick job. You can do it. So uh, go out there and do it if you want to do it. And uh, until then, see y'all next time. Wrench it in the parking deck. Out.